Hi everybody, Laura here and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. And in this video, I wanted to discuss um, luxury brand jewelry, mainly the costume, which most of the luxury designer jewelry is. Okay, I know we don't want to say costume, but basically what you are purchasing is costume jewelry. So let me kind of expound on that. So um, I had purchased um, a Chanel necklace, okay, and it's, it is authentic and it was pre-loved. However, um, I got caught up in the moment and I just wanted um, some Chanel jewelry so badly. And so I purchased it. Um, and this piece was still, um, I hate to say it, but it was still $2,000. I know. Mm. So basically, once I once I was really looking at this and once I really thought about it, because if you can see, this is, it has the little rhinestones, which you have to be careful because if those fall out, you have to find another one that matches perfectly to try to glue one back in. Um, but this, this is, I mean, it's basically like just pot metal. It's glass glass beads, um, maybe some other kind of stone, but this is all just faceted glass beads, faux pearls, of course. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, because I I was in the jewelry business for 16 years and <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm just like, wow, you just spent that kind of money on a necklace that literally probably costs $20 to make. And I may even be pushing that. I don't know, but it's okay. Yes, I know it's Chanel, it's whatever, but um, here's the problem. And, and a lot of it is with, I'm sorry to say, but with Chanel, because they use rhinestones, they use seed pearls, and a lot of times these pop out, they come out. Um, and the other thing with metal that is not sterling or gold or platinum, once it breaks, you cannot weld that back together. I mean, it's, it's, it's broken. So really, once you have something like this and it breaks, it's, it's broke. So I, I, you know, I get it. It's, it's you know, but most of, most of all, you know, there are gold pieces in Chanel. There are, they make their very high end, which will cost you crazy amounts of money. I mean, you're paying probably 10 times what the gold is worth, but you know, to, to purchase these things when they are literally, if you think about it, just costume. The other pieces that I have invested in, and I actually did a video on these, was the, the Hermes um, click clack bracelets. Click H. So these, again, they are, they plate them in 18 karat gold, but these are still basically, they're metal components. There's enamel, um, but still it's costume jewelry. Um, if you scratch these and you take it somewhere, let's say you took it to a jeweler and asked them to buff it out, well, all of the plating is going to come off and what you're going to be left with is a very ugly base metal. So I still do enjoy these. One, because they're not 
crazy money if you get them on the pre-owned, pre-loved market. You can get them for in the two, three, four hundred dollar range, which to me isn't super crazy, i.e. two thousand. Um to me these do wear well. I know some people were saying like, well, you know, they they scratch. You know, yeah, if you hit them against something, it's gonna scratch. Um that the the gold plating was wearing off. I I don't know what people do while wearing their jewelry, but I for one do not do yard work, housework, um dishes. I don't I don't do rough things while wearing these pieces. So mine are all still in really, really good condition. And I've worn them many times. So if you're, if you're careful, and that's the thing about costume jewelry, you have to be very careful. Okay. Because, you know, once, like I said, once you ruin it, you kind of ruin it. Um, same with this piece that I got. Um, it's just on a basic cord. Um, this is an Hermes pendant or necklace, actually, because you can't remove it from the cord which kind of bums me out because I'm not loving the cord. It's kind of, it's really long and it kind of hangs really far down on me. I'm not, I don't love it. Um, but again, but I got this pre-loved and I believe I paid, um, I want to say probably in the, the two, maybe, maybe 300. Again, not crazy. It's, you know, it's Hermes. Um, but again, if you're wearing this on your neck, you shouldn't have much wear to it. Shouldn't damage it. Um, and at least I can like set this down or not worry about it shattering or breaking too easily. But again, this is just, you know, gold plated metal. It's still costume jewelry. Um, now you can get like a little bit, these to me are a little bit better. It, this is an older Dior piece. Vintage costume jewelry was made so much better than they are today. And I'm talking about like, you know, the Miriam Haskells and um, there's, there's so many old vintage costume pieces that were just made so well. I wish they would do that today. Um, but this is an older um, Christian Dior, and it's not sterling. Again, it looks sterling, but this is a pendant with some rhinestones in it, and it actually has the matching earrings. And these, I, I again, I got, I got pre-loved online. Actually, I think I bought these on an auction site, and I got it fairly cheap. So, but again. I mean, if, if this, if this breaks or if this chain breaks, because as you can see, it has the, it has the Dior little tag on it. So if the chain breaks and I put another one on it, um, you know, it's, I don't plan on reselling this or anything, but you know, there goes the value. So with anything like this, it, this again is just totally costume. This is no more than um, when you go, you know, to any department store and you're just buying. I don't know, even like Ralph Lauren makes, you know, their stuff. Again, it's it's costume. Um, all the designers do it. I mean, Louis Vuitton has it. Gucci has it. Um, and again, when you buy these pieces, like Gucci has these very chunky uh, pieces with a lot of colored rhinestones in them. If they fall out, I mean, unless, and, and, and I've never purchased, well, I take that back. I have it Hermes once, but unless they're going to take it back and repair it for you for free, which I don't know if they do, you're SOL'd. I mean, you really are. So, um, again, for what you're getting, um, to me is really not worth it. And I wouldn't even call any buying anything luxury is not an investment. I like how people say I invest in, no, you just bought, 
you just spent your money on because you're not going to get your money back. And I get how people say, well, you know, they're going up in value. Okay, they are. But you make your money on the sell. Okay, so you can buy right, but even selling, you have to take in consideration the the market and then also where are you going to sell it? Who's going to sell it for you? Are you going to sell it on, you know, on an online, you know, site that that resells it? Are you going to sell it at a local boutique? Most of these places are going to take anywhere from you know 30 20 to 50 percent so right there you just lost a huge chunk so just like with my stuff yeah i can sell my chanel bags maybe for even more, a little bit more than what i purchased them for but by the time i pay somebody to sell it or authenticate it i've lost money so realistically you know, if you think you're going to be reselling these things and making money on them, no, no. Luxury items, they're, they're things that we, that we want, okay? They're not in need, but they definitely aren't an investment. Although I keep telling my husband that it's an investment because they go up in value. You know, I'm just trying to um, make an excuse for why I, purchase these, but, um, it's just not. And so for, for me personally, I am definitely not going to, um, purchase any more, um, really crazy. This was just, I'm like, Laura, really, what were you thinking other than you were just in the moment and wanted it? And I don't know what to do with this thing now, but, um, Again, if you purchase, you know, the real jewelry, though, and I'm talking the, the platinum, the gold, the silver, the only problem with that is, again, you're buying the name, okay, because they're gold, they're diamonds, whatever is in it is no more special than something you buy at your local jewelry store, or whatever. So you're going to pay if you have no problem paying way more than the piece is worth, because if you ever have to scrap that piece or, you know, God forbid, pawn that piece, um, you're only probably going to get maybe 25% of what you paid for it. Um, but at least if you do purchase something that is real gold, whether it's luxury designer or not, at least if it breaks or something happens to it, it's fixable because any jeweler can fix gold and silver because that can be welded. So for me, all in all, whole big picture, I am not going to, well, first of all, buy a brand new ever, ever. If I got a really, really killer deal on the pre-loved market and I loved it, maybe then I would. But just remember that you're buying costume jewelry. So when you see that $1,000 piece, it's still, at the end of the day, it's costume jewelry. So for me, um, I'm not going to be investing. That's not an investment to me because th this could have been like a really beautiful bag. I mean, two grand will get you a decent, especially, you know, on the pre-loved market. You know, I could have gotten, hell, I could have gotten a, probably a Chanel tote for this. So, which would have lasted me way longer than a necklace would. So that's the other thing. Just keep in mind when you are investing in things, how long it's really going to last you and how long you're going to be able to use it. Um, Anyway, guys, I just thought I'd give you my two cents on that um, because it just kills me to see um, these prices and to know that it's, it's just remember, it's costume. I get someone says, well, but it's Chanel. It's costume jewelry. Who cares? It's still costume jewelry. So 
Um, just something to think about, guys, before you go and spend um, a lot of money on luxury design or any any jewelry for that matter. Um, so anyway, that's my two cents on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little rant about um, costume jewelry. All right, and um, I'll try to do more on um, different jewelry subjects because my background is, um, I have a little bit of an extensive background in the jewelry business. So anyway, guys, I um, hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.